look at something called combining like terms. But really to understand that, the first thing we need to understand is what terms are. So you can see from the definition that terms are separated by addition or subtraction signs. So, for example, when you look at this particular expression, we have three terms. 5x is a term, 6c is a term, and 2y squared is a term. So notice that a term can have a variable, it can have an exponent, it can have a coefficient, it can be a constant. It can have, they don't all have to look exactly the same. What you do need to see and understand is some terms, though, do have some things alike, and we call those like terms. When we're looking at like terms, what we're specifically looking for is that they have to have the same variable raised to the same power. So, for example, 3m and 7m are like terms because both of them have the variable m, and if they had an exponent, that exponent would be 1. They don't have an exponent because an exponent of 1 doesn't actually change the value. And then 5x squared and 4x squared are also like terms because they both have x squared. Notice the value of the coefficient does not matter. What matters is, they, is that they have the same variable raised to the same power. So when we look at this, there, this is a list that has a lot of terms at the bottom. I want you to see if you can group the like terms. I'm going to kind of get you started. I would say 6m maybe goes here. 19 as a constant goes here because it doesn't have an m with it. So it's not like the 6m. 6t is not like 6m because even though it has the 6, it's not the coefficient that's important. It's the variable. So it is not like 6m or 19. When we look at the next term we have, 3t squared, yes, it has the t, like the 6t, but it's a t squared. So it's got to go in its own category. It is not like the 6t. 8m is the first one we come across that is like any of our others. It is like the 6m, and the reason it's like the 6m is because both of them have the variable of m, and it doesn't have an exponent with it, or if it did, the exponent would be 1. Take a moment now to pause the video and see if you can figure out where the rest of these terms would go if you were going to group them. And you can do this in your term notebook on the lesson on like terms. Okay, now that you've done it, I'm going to show you my answers. I would put the 6 here, let's see, r squared, 8t squared, 7, 4t cubed, 5m, 5r squared, 5t cubed, 8t, here we go, 9t, and 3r squared. Check yours and see how you did. Now, again, notice the reason I grouped them the way I did. These all have m. These don't have it. these don't have any variable or exponent with them. Those are just constants by themselves. No variable or exponent. T squared. These all have an R squared. These all have a T cubed. And those all have just a T. Now sometimes people are a little unsure about this one right here. This the R squared. If that one had a coefficient with it, the coefficient would be one because it's one r squared. Remember, multiplying by 1 doesn't change the value. That's why when the coefficient is 1, we normally don't write it. All right, let's try another, another one and see if you can get it. So we have a list of um, terms at the bottom, and we want to say, are they like or unlike 2m? So make yourself a list and see which ones are like 2m and which ones are unlike. Pause while you do that, and then you can check your work. All right, now that you've done that, I'm going to do it. 7m is like 15ym. Yes, it has the m, but it also has the y, so it's unlike. 15m is like 6r is unlike 2y is unlike, and I know a few of these you couldn't see, like the m squared. It's unlike because it would have an exponent of 2. Negative 5m. 
That one people aren't sure about because of the negative coefficient. But remember, is it the coefficient we care about? No, it's the variable. So it is like 2my on like 5 tenths or 25 hundredths m. Again, we don't care that the coefficient is a decimal. It doesn't matter. It's the variable and the exponent that we care about. And 8m is also like 2m. So again, when you look at these, notice all of the ones that are like 2m have m as their variable, just m, and they don't have an exponent because the exponent would be 1. All of the ones that are unlike, none of those have just m with no exponent as the variable. All right, let's look at another one. We want to know which of these are like terms. Which ones are like 6xy, which ones are like 3x, and which ones are like neither. Take a moment and see what you think. Okay, I would put them, whoops, we don't want to do that. I would want to put 7xy here. 4x squared is like neither of them because it has the exponent. Negative 2x is like negative, or it's like 3x. One third xy, 6y, 8xy squared, 5 and 4 tenths x, and 5x. When I check this, they are all in the right spots. Again, notice that what we're looking at is we want to make sure that the variable or variables match. Variable or variables and the exponent. So here we have these are all x's. And the ones over in this category aren't like either of the other two. Alright, let's try that one more time with another set. Let's see if we can decide on these guys. So as we sort, remember what we're looking at is ones that have y, x, x, y. So, hopefully you've paused and you're trying it on your own. If not, do so before you check. And when we get ready to check, they are all correct because Again, we're looking at just the variable with the exponent. Now, there is a reason why we need to know this, and we'll get into that with our next lesson where we're going to start talking about combining like terms.